Hey, what's up everyone? Craig here with Weeping Willow Guitar Lessons. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at Jerry Garcia's guitar parts on Tennessee Jed. All right, this Grateful Dead classic was first performed on October 19th, 1971, and was played every year except for 1975. In the demo, the version I did was reminiscent of early 70s versions. But as we go through this lesson, I'm gonna talk about the uh, key differences between the early 70s versions and then the post hiatus versions. Uh, we're going to start with the intro and it's important to really get this lick down because this lick is repeated throughout the entire song and it sounds like this. <laughs> Alright, we begin in 5th position on the G string 7th fret and we bend that note up a whole step. Notice that I cut that note short with the palm of my picking hand. Then we pick it while the string's bent, release, then play the 5th fret. Then we have D string 7th fret followed by a low E string. Then the 5th fret of the A string, bend up a half step, pick it again and release, and then the 3rd fret of the A string. Alright, so that's the basic lick. And in the early 70s, um, there were really two main versions. The first one was that one, and then the second version was... So the only difference here is, instead of bending that fifth string or A string, fifth fret up a half step first, we start by just playing the A string fifth fret, then doing a pre-bend and release. And then another thing to note about the lick is that low open E string. So Jerry did not always hit that, although he did play that note a lot. Sometimes it would be the A string, sometimes it would be a rest, so it would be no note at all. So that's just, you know, don't worry too much about that. Just, you know, play the lick and just whatever comes out, comes out. All right, so we kick it off with that lick and then we have this. Alright, so we begin on the low E string, and then we hammer on 3rd to 5th fret, followed by the 3rd fret of the A string. Then we're going to alternate between the 5th fret of the low E string and the 3rd fret of the A string. So notice that sometimes it's a muted note, sometimes it's just, it's palm muted, other times, you know, there's a lot of accenting there and that's where you really get the nuance. And then we play that opening lick again. So, so far we have... Alright, so after we play it the second time, we go back up to the G string 7th fret and we bend that up a whole step twice. And then finish. 
punish the leg. All right, so other times Jerry would only play the lower version once, and then he would go up and play it up an octave higher, so it would sound like this. And Europe 72 is an example of that. So it's the same thing up an octave. So we begin on the um, D string, fifth fret hammering onto the seventh fret, and then alternating between that seventh fret of the D string and the fifth fret of the G string. That is the intro. All right, so now for the verse. All right, so we have kind of a first ending and a second ending for this verse section. So the first time through, it sounds like this. So we start off on a C chord. All right, so Jerry's rhythm part on this song is always very low in the mix. So for example, if you check out 101972, in that version, you know, Jerry's guitar is cranked compared to other versions. So you can kind of hear what he's doing. And he's got this. So we're just playing a C chord, and basically we just need the third fret of the A string and the fifth frets of the D and G strings. And then we, you know, just take that pressure off. Sometimes you can add that fifth fret of the low E string. Then we have our opening lick again, and then we go to an F chord. So again, you know, we're not playing this loud at all, but for the F chord, you can kind of alternate between that first string and the or the low E string and the fourth string and throw an open A in there if you want and G to C Right, then we have all right so we're starting on a C and we're just playing the third fret of the A string fifth frets of the D and G strings so just root fifth root then we're going to play the fourth fret of the D string so we have third fret of the A string, fourth fret of the D string, and fifth fret of the G string. So this is a C diminished chord, but it's really just a 
C flat 5 because Jerry's just playing root flat 5 root. Then we have 3rd frets of the A and D strings and 5th fret on the G string. So this is an F chord with a C in the bass. And that's what the guitar voicing is. The bass Phil Lesh is actually playing an A there so it's an F over A. But Jerry's playing an F over C. And then we go back to our C chord. Then F. G to C. Followed by the opening lick. Then we repeat almost all of that. So we have... After we go through it the second time, instead of going back to this opening lick, we play B flat, F, G, C. And that's what he plays the first time. Um, after the second verse, he does. And this takes us into the chorus. So the chorus starts on an F. C, G, F. G, F. All right, so the chorus, starting on the F chord. It's, it's always a little different, but you know, in these early 70s versions, Jerry would kind of alternate between that low E string and the fourth string. And a bar of 2 4. And we have an F. We hold out for two full bars. Then C. just that lick. So we're playing the G string, 7th fret, bend up a whole step, release, and 5th fret of that G string. Alright, and that takes us to the interlude. Alright, so for these interludes, Jerry sticks pretty close to the intro here in these early versions. But for this first example, I have this. And this comes from 10.19.72. All right, so this first phrase goes like this. So it starts off just like the intro. Then we have. And for the second phrase, it's. to the second verse. And that 
that's just like the first verse, except at the end, as I mentioned, the second ending, we have... All right, so for post-hiatus versions, later versions, you know, Jerry kind of, he's even more subtle on these chords during the verse. But he does throw in that cool little lick going from the F to the G, which would be... So before we get to the F, he would sometimes throw in an open E. Then we play open 6th string, 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, then a C. So this part of the verse is really what changes after the, the uh, hiatus. So we start with our C, C diminished, F over C, but instead of going back to the original C chord, we have this C chord. And if you've seen any of my Bobby videos, you know that's a voicing that Bobby would play a lot. So it keeps, you know, this descending note going for the upper C chord. And, you know, like versions in 76, you know, Jerry's still playing with the pick at this time. But then in later versions, you know, he changes the finger style for that part. So after we have So in later versions, he would put the pick away, and then he would play that finger style. So playing the C chord, we have... Then for the chorus in later years, Jerry would insert some licks. So for example, going into the chorus we have... So the first lick, we play our F. So this is right out of the F major pentatonic scale. So we have F. Sliding from the 3rd fret to the 5th on the 6th string. And then 3rd fret to 5th fret on the A string. C. four then over this F chord we have so we play sixth intervals so we have third frets of the G and high E string slide that up to the fifth frets back down then 
we have the second fret of the third string and the first fret of the high E string. And, you know, other times he would just play. Then we have our same ending. All right, now let's take a look at that second interlude I did after the second chorus. This also comes from 101972, and it is played up an octave higher than the first interlude, so it's a good one to look at, and it sounds like this. So the first phrase goes like this. Then our second phrase. All right, so let's talk about form. So the intro and the interludes are 10 bars. So we have four bars, it's three bars of C, then a half a bar of G, half a bar of C. We repeat that, and then we just repeat that C, half a bar of G, half a bar of C. All right, then after the third chorus we have our main guitar solo that's the long one and it's the main jam of the song so for that it's a 64 bar solo really a 32 bar progression that's repeated although at the end of the second time there is that second ending which we'll talk about but the progression goes like this it's 16 bars of c and then it goes to eight bars of f and then eight bars of G. But between that F and G, they'll do one bar of F sharp walking up to the G. So then that's all repeated except the very last time, the last two bars we have. All right, and then after the solo, we have our final chorus which is slightly different. Um, I'll, let me play it for you. So coming out of the solo. All right, so did you catch that? So after the bar of 2-4, we just have one bar of F instead of 2. And that's the only difference. All right, and then we have our end tag, which sounds like this. Or... So we have quarter note triplets and we're playing. All right, and that's Tennessee Jed. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.